Gosh, it's been uh, two months since my last video. I really need to be posting content more often. I mean, so many things about the app have changed in the last two months. Um, but in the interest of making this short and sweet for me and for you, all I'm gonna focus on today is some cool new options in the preferences pane. Um, so in addition to being able to change the standard navigation, um, which you have always been able to do, um, you can change a bunch of other settings. And note that for many of them, you will need to restart the app. It just makes my life as a programmer a bit simpler. Um, but fortunately, Plasticity uh, restarts in a few seconds, so it's not a big deal. So the first thing I want to talk about today is like um, setting colors and accent themes. Uh, you can give Plasticity any sort of look you want um, and even sort of change the background color. So, you know, Plasticity is not really about rendering, but if you do want to like, uh, you know, make a quick kind of image of the, what you're working on, um, it can be helpful to change the background color. Um, but uh, in terms of other settings, there's a couple that I want to focus on in particular. So people who tend to have like a precision workflow, sometimes they have like preferences to have accented lines like every 10 units. So this is an example of something you need to restart. So currently, like I have it set to five. One, two, three, four, five, there's an accented line. But if, for example, I restart the app right now, boop, 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 um, you will see by setting it to 10, there are now accented lines every 10 units. Um, so, you know, there's a bunch of, you know, snap to grid options and changing the, the grid density, which uh, you can figure out on your own. Um, the other preferences stuff that I want to show you because I think it is potentially important is. If you are on a slower computer or a laptop, sometimes if you are not getting like 60 or more frames a second, you may want to set the GPU rendering quality to low, which will lower the anti-aliasing and bit depth and stuff. Things won't look as pretty, but uh, it's better to have a high frame rate. Now on the opposite end of that, the faceting quality of models, you can add extra detail if you want, although it will make all modeling operations slower. So I would recommend in general not doing that, but but for example, or let me let me uh, like fill at this edge, and if we like look at this in profile, you can see that there are visible facets here. Now, I've spent a lot of time what, finding what I think is a great balance between performance and rendering quality, because it is a real trade-off, no matter how powerful your computer is. Um, if you want like curvier curves, every modeling operation will be a little bit slower and starting up the app will be, an opening a large file will be a little bit slower. So I don't recommend it. But in some cases, you may want to change the rendering quality to have extra detail. I would not recommend this as a normal thing. This is like an exceptional thing you want to do. But in any case, if you do this and you restart the app, boopy doopy doop, um, you will see that you have you know, significantly curvier lines. So it's like a, I don't know, if it, this, this is a sensible setting that I found that's like a good 50% more detail and it's not extremely CPU intensive, but still I don't recommend it in most cases, but it's there if you need it. Um, and that's basically it for today. There's, you know, some other settings, but for now that's all you need to know. Um, yeah, so. Plasticity is coming along. We're getting close to, to 1.0. I can't schedule a date yet, but it's in the near future. See you soon.